Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Vedran Kesevic and I will tell you a story about storage spaces. If you care about your data, you have a database, SQL Server database, for example, or you have some precious documents, financial documents, or you, or you need speed, disk speed for video editing, or you just have pictures of your family you don't want to lose when disk crashes. Uh, especially if you have cloud servers. This is a must. Because cloud servers, let's be honest, don't give you very fast drives, at least for some normal price. And basically any machine that can fit three drives and has Windows OS, this video is for you. So this is about eight myths about storage spaces. Enjoy! But first, a, a bit about terminology. Storage pool is a set of disks, set of physical disks, and we will create, uh, we will create virtual disks on top of this physical array of disks. This disk can be totally different in size, in type. It's just a listed it's just a list of disks called storage pool. Then storage space. Storage space is in fact a virtual disk, a drive. It will become a logical drive. OS will see it as a logical drive. And uh, for a virtual disk, you define things like size, like uh, parity. Will it have parity or not? Um, and then volume. Volume is a partition on a disk on a logical disk, on a virtual disk. So it can have a drive letter, etc. So let's, let's get on. Eight myths about storage spaces. First myth, storage spaces will work only on ser server operating system. Not true. I will show you a demo with Windows 10, which is client operating system. Works brilliant, perfectly. Um, then with, with only two disks, uh, can we have both mirrored and striped virtual disks for two benefits? Mirror is when you don't want to lose data when one disk crashes, so for data safety, resiliency, and striping is used when you need speed. When you need speed, double the speed. For example, you have two disks, you need double this to double the speed of one disk and you still get the space of both disks. So this is great if it can be achieved and I will show you that immediately. So what it is about. Okay, let me let me show you one picture. So these are two disks, two physical disks, disk one and disk two. And we created a storage pool and listed these two disks are part of the storage pool. Then we created a virtual disk across this storage pool with a parity of a mirror, RAID 1. And then we created another virtual disk, virtual disk 2, without any parity. So it is a simple virtual drive. It is striping or RAID 0 for speed to get the speed. And when you write data, let's say your data is ABCD, in this virtual disk, ABCD is written on both physical disks. And in this virtual disk, with striping, without parity, data is written across all the drives. And if, if this disk fails, this physical disk, if it fails, this virtual disk still has all the data. It saved you all the data. But this virtual disk has only part of the data, so you lost the data. And that's about it. You get speed with this, and you get resiliency with this, both at the same time with only two physical disks. Isn't that great? I think it is. So let's see that in action. Let's see that in action. I'm in Windows 10. I will type storage spaces and then I'll click create a new pool. Yes. 
I have three disks available. All three are 10 gigabytes. And I will put only two disks into this pool. I will create a pool of two drives. And th these both two drives are on the USB stick. That is uh, for me to easily simulate a disk failure. I will just pull it, pull it out to simulate a failure. So this is a storage space. Um, Two-way mirror, eight gigabytes. I will I will give it uh, five gigabyte space. It will take take ten gigabytes because five plus five, and two-way mirror. We will assign it immediately drive letter, and we will create a storage space that is virtual disk, virtual disk, and. Uh, after that, we should see it in our storage pool consists of two physical disks and has one storage space or virtual disk, one virtual disk, five gigabytes. Physical drives, two. And if I click on my computer, we see C drive, which is a system drive and, and our storage space drive, which uses mirroring. Now I will create another I will create another storage uh, space or virtual disk. So we will um, create a storage space. I will call it uh, virtual disk striping and it will be simple, no resiliency. You see, parity is like a RAID 5. It uses one drive for parity. So you lose capacity of one drive. This is a mirror with every data written in two places. This is mirror with every data written in three places, three disks. So I will choose a simple because it has super fast performance, no loss in storage space. Brilliant. So I will give it also five gigabytes. Create. Now I have, across two physical drives, I have two virtual disks. Um, let me change the name. It's, it's a virtual disk mirroring. Change, okay. So we have two virtual disks, mirroring and striping. Let's see in my computer how it looks. So we have mirroring and striping. I can create more virtual disks. I can even over, I, I can even create disks that are bigger than exact capacity of this two physical disks, but it's not very recommended. So let's see what are the myths, next myths. I can have both mirrored and striped virtual disks, yes. Adding disk. If we create pool with two disks initially, can we add just one disk? Or we must obey column number, so called, and we must always add number of drives we initially had in the pool. Let's try. Let's see if it works. We, we initially had two drives and let's try to add one drive. So my storage pool I click add drives to the pool. Only one drive is uh, available. And I will click add drives. Notice this checkbox. Optimize drive usage to spread existing data across all drives. So I will add it. Ta-da! Succeeded. Optimizing drive usage. So now it is spreading the data across three drives instead of only two drives. And it is nearly completed. And after that, so this myth is busted. We can only add one drive, no matter how many drives we had initially. So we can add any number of drives we like, and any drives we have, except. 
does adding discs adds also speed? Because some people tell, no, if you add a drive, you cannot get speed, you just get capacity, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you saw this optimization, it spread data across all the drives. So all the drives participate in, in raw data speed. So you get the speed. You get the speed and I measured it and I will show you results uh, in the pictures. So you see here, we have, a, we have a speed of mirror two disks on USB, both are on USB. Uh, write speed is terrible. We have speed uh, on striping two disks, but both are on USB, so it's still terrible speed because USB is the limit. And then three disks, third drive is not on USB, third drive is SSD, but with adding this third drive, we got a lot faster speeds, as you can see. So it is measured and proved that you get additional speed, not just space, with adding disks. Okay, um, expanding virtual disk, is it difficult? Does it require reboot or what? Let's expand it, let's see how it works. Okay, we will say these are our two virtual drives. Let's uh, change second one. Let's expand it, it's now 5 gigabytes, so you can see in drive, in, in, in disk management, you can see sizes of the disk. So you can see system disk and R2 physical, R2 uh, virtual disks. They both have a bit less than 5 gigabytes. So let's expand it to, let's say, 8 gigabytes. Change finished. And let's see here, 8 gigabytes. Was it difficult? Did it require downtime? No. It's online, it's super easy, two clicks and you're finished. Just be careful, don't over expand your drives because each expansion takes some space. I'm not exactly sure how much but it can be half gigabyte or quarter gigabyte. It's substantial space. And second thing, uh, it, you cannot uh, decrease the size. You can just expand virtual disk. You cannot decrease the size. So expand it as much as you need, but uh, don't expand it very frequently. Expand it enough so you won't expand it every day. Next myth. Next myth is Shrinking virtual disk, I already re replied to that. Shrinking, unfortunately, is not possible, so don't expand it too much. I mean, you can expand it to, to any number you like, like this, for example. Um, I can change it to 1000, 10,000 gigabytes. Okay. And now I have a virtual disk with 10,000, 10 terabytes. <laughs> I don't have that much space, actually. I have only 28 gigabytes of total physical disk space and data currently uses almost 6 gigabytes. So I, my data still fits, but soon it would, um, I, I would I would be warned that I need to add more physical drives to support what I claimed I support. 10 terabytes. Don't don't do that. Don't don't over expand it. So next myth is removing drives. Can you remove the disk that is used in virtual disks and has data on it? Can we remove the drive? Let's try. Okay, let's try to remove one physical disk. So we have three physical disks and I will remove the middle one. I will prepare it for removal. Okay. And this preparation of removal actually um, spreads the data spreads the data this disk has, spreads it across other drives. It cleans it from the data. 
cleans out the data from that drive. And once this process is finished, I will be able to pull this drive out without, any, without losing any information. Uh, even, even I won't lose information even from this striping set of disks. And um, I will speed it up for you. It takes some time. Okay, now it is finished. And I will remove this disk from the pool, even if it is used in both virtual disks. Remove the drive. Removing the drive, after drive is removed, we still have two disks, so mirroring works, striping works always. We're good, everything is green, everything is fine, with only two physical disks. Now the last myth is, so we can remove the disk safely. Failing disks, does mirroring or parity really protects your data if disk failure occurs? Let's try that. I will now do something for you and that is, I will pull this USB out. This USB actually is where the one of the drives is. So I will plug it. Okay, plugged out. Now, now let's see what happens. Still nothing is detected here although one drive is missing. This drive is, was removed, so nothing is detected. But if I try to use this disk with uh, striping, it should be like failed, failed disk. It should be like failed disk. So if I try to write something here, new Microsoft Word document. Okay, it, it works. But if I would... Ah! Storage space is problem. Aha! Uh -huh. We have errors. One physical drive is... missing. And that's why we have on striping, we have error. Our drives, our, our files, our data is not accessible anymore. And uh, mirroring has only a warning, it's not error. That means mirroring drive should work without any issue. So this is mirroring drive. Although one drive failed, it should work without any issue. So Microsoft Word document, it's here. I can do anything, it copy, paste, it works. Basically, if one drive is failing, mirroring will save it. Three-way mirroring would save if two drives are failing, failed. So all myths are busted. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I hope you will take advantage of storage spaces and to get uh, faster speed or more resiliency for your data. And uh, visit, visit my uh, webpage, contact me if you want and uh, help with SQL Server and bye-bye till next video.